Hello everybody and I hope you're having a blessed day. Now this isn't the most exciting video I've done but I do think it's one of the important ones because it has to do with trash. If things got really really bad you may not have trash pickup and then what? And I also think it's a good money saver because I never buy trash bags. Um, I use this for all paper, all paper. I don't pay trash. Because see, where I live, you have to pay extra because trash delivery, they don't have trash pickup. I'm sorry, not delivery, but they don't have a pickup. Which means I would have to pay someone to come and pick it up. Well, I burn my trash, okay? But there's some things that you can't burn. You know, some canned goods cannot be burned. Some things just can't. So, this is where these come in handy. Now, for the bigger things, that like the canned goods that I have, the little metal cans, I throw those away and I use my layer and uh, corn, you know, cracked corn that I give to my chickens. I use those bags for the cans. I don't get very much trash because of that, because I burn all paper. Napkins, paper plates, toilet paper, whatever is paper and burnable, I burn it. The other one is just for canned goods and, you know, I get one of those bags every two or three weeks filled and then I take it in and I dump it. Now, that would be a problem though if I couldn't find a place and I couldn't go there and do it. I'd have to end up burying my can somewhere. I really would. But for now... I'm going to show you how to take this, this, because I just dropped some of it on the floor. It's a lot. And like I've said in all my videos, we're still fortunate. We're going to turn these bags into this. We are still fortunate that we can go to the store and still get things that we need. And these, they will give to you at Walmart for free. I have somebody that loves to go shopping at Walmart. I don't, but they do. And every time they go, they pick me up extras and bring them to me. And so then I'm stuck turning that big blob into this. Now I'm going to show you how I do that, okay? Now, if they're perfect and never been used, like nothing's been put in them or anything, they're easier. But I wanted to show you what do you do when you come home and it's a plastic bag, you know, that you brought things home in. See how I straighten that on this side? I'm going to do the same thing over here and straighten it by putting my thumb inside right here in the handle. You see? To straighten it. Then I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to switch this and turn. Oh, I can still do it from that side. And I'm going to fold this over the top. It goes up this way to get the air out. Then I'm going to fold this like this. Okay? And then I'm going to, you see that? I'm going to fold here. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to go that way. And it's up, right, up, and then back to your left. Okay? And then you take it, the leftover piece at the top. You tuck it down inside the opening. You see that opening there? Tuck that down in there. And then when you're done, you just kind of press on it to flatten it out. Okay? Because this is much easier than that big mess of bags. And you can take one bag and it'll hold hundreds and hundreds of these folded this way. I know it seems boring. You're sitting there going, oh my God, to go through all that? Well... The less clutter you have in your home, it's the better. You keep mice and rats out if you're not cluttered up. And these bags are priceless. I save a lot of money because I don't buy bags. And this is a good way to have them and store them. And I just store them in another bag. Now, sometimes I'll take them and kind of shake it a little bit because it's so messed up. See, I haven't done these in a while. And so, and my, one of my kids that shops there gives me all their bags because they don't need them. They're like, oh, no, I'll just buy bags. 
I'm not messing with that nonsense. And so I do it. I'm like, fine, give them to me. You know, they'll go and buy the little white bags for garbage pails and, you know, little baskets that you put toilet paper, tissue paper in, and they'll buy the big black ones. I'm not doing that. And I go this away, and this away. To me, it's all about not spending money. The more money I don't have to spend, the better it is. Because if the time comes, you see how I tuck this in here? Time comes and we don't have money. I already have learned to live off of a lot less. There you go. And this is a nice, neat way. I had already started some of these. I'm going to show this to you. Do you see? This is a nice, neat way to have these bags. And you can put them inside of another bag. And it just takes up a lot less space and makes them nicer and neater. I know, like I said, it ain't that great. It's kind of a boring. But I think it's important. I do. Trash bags and how to get rid of our trash in a bad situation is going to be one of the most important things there is for us to do. And this is a good way to stuff all your paper stuff because there may not be no bags you can get your hands on if things go bad. And this is free for now. So I hope you'll do this. I hope you'll save bags because trash bags are important too. And God bless you. And have a blessed day.